Well, as part of our, uh, what's turning into a uh, greenhouse maintenance video, uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Hudson valves. Uh, basically, the greenhouse is, it's, it's hot, it's dry here in the summer, and it's just dry here all the time. We're at 5,400 feet. Um, so one wall of these greenhouses is a wet wall, basically a huge swamp cooler. Um, the water is controlled by a Hudson valve. The water level is controlled by a Hudson valve. These get clogged up and uh, so let's open them up, take a look inside and uh, see what's inside a Hudson valve. So this is a Hudson valve. This is a, a one inch. I just buy one inch because you can reduce them down and you're going to get the best flow out of a one inch over a three quarter inch. And one of the biggest complaints about these is they don't flow a lot. Um, and the reason is the diaph it's a diaphragm valve as opposed to like a ball valve or a slide valve. This thing only moves down a little bit. Okay. There's a reason for that. So let me just give you the basics of the Hudson valve and how it works. It's got a float, and I've already got the screw out just to save time, and it only moves a little bit, and all it does is it goes up, let me wiggle it out, and you've got a little, um, I don't know, it looks like silicone plug there, and then you've got a tiny little hole down in there. Let me see if we can get the light down in there, but you've got this tiny little hole down in there that that this guy here plugs off. So when the water comes up, it hits this, blocks that little hole. Now, what you might be thinking is, how, how does the water get through that, all the water get through that little hole? It doesn't. It's a diaphragm valve. And let me try to explain it real quick. Here's your internals. That's just a cap. This is just a strainer. If you want it to flow more, cut some of these little pieces here out and it'll flow. We'll just do like every other one. Don't remove it because right here, um, that little piece of plastic right there is very important. And the reason it's very important is, let me see if I can get this zoomed in enough, close enough to see it. There is a tiny, tiny little hole right in the top of this. That tiny little hole controls the whole valve. Okay, so what happens is, let's say you have 50 pounds of, of water pressure. That water pressure is going to come in, it's going to hit this, and it's actually going to push this down, and it's going to flow actually all the way around here. So it's just going to flow out like that. So you're actually getting quite a bit of flow. But when that the float comes up, closes off that little hole on the inside, what that does is closes that off. Now the pressure gets uh, equalized here. So you've got 50 PSI here. And I'm just, these are just rough numbers. 50 PSI here. And let's say this is one inch just for easy math. And let's say this is one and a half inch. Um, so now instead of 50 pounds holding it open, you're going to have 75 pounds holding it closed. Okay. So this, the water goes around because the surface area is 50% larger. And I'm just, these are just rough numbers. And what that does, that'll push this up here and it'll close off. It'll close off and seal right there. So that's the basics of a Hudson valve. Now, <laughs> that's a nice pretty one. This is what they look like after they've been in use for a few years. And uh, it's a little bit different design. It's got a completely solid top here to help keep the crud out of it. The strainer is a higher flowing strainer. Um, and I kind of like this design better than that design. And you can see, I've got it reduced down to three quarter inch. Could I save money and buy three quarter inch valves instead of all one? I don't know. I've never priced a three quarter inch valve. But basically, they're pretty much the same. And all this here does is prevent this guy here from getting clogged 
but let me see. Um, I can't see through that, so let's pop this screw out here that holds the float, and this is the only thing that holds the float in place. And I already had that one on loosened up just to save time. I should have done this one, heck, but I didn't. But I didn't. And there's your little, your little silicone bumper or whatever it's made out of. And I cannot see through that. So because I can't see through that little tiny orifice there, it's plugged, which means it's telling the valve to stay closed all the time. So let me get that closed, opened up, and get it back in service. This isn't something I can really demonstrate on how it works. Uh, because it's it's literally you know eight or 18 inches underwater or 18 inches down a pipe and then the water level sits eh, right about there so anyway Hudson valve uh, one inch um, these are primarily used in for stock pumps and stuff like that not a sponsor but you know um, I use it they break if it breaks for you I hope this I hope this video helped Thanks for watching.